Hi. In today's video, we look at an extremely important application of limit called the derivative. So, I'm going to give you the definition. The derivative of f of x labeled f prime of x is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if the limit exists. The derivative at x equal a is f prime at a, which would be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f a divided by h. We just replace x with a generic x um, with a specific value x equal a, again, if it exists. So, for example, if I have the limit as h approaches 0 of the tangent of pi over 3 plus h minus the square root of 3 all divided by h, this limit represents the function f of x being tangent of x and the value of a being pi over 3. Now the value of this limit we can't do at this point, but that's not important. The point is that this represents this particular, the derivative of this particular function at that particular value. So this, re this represents f prime, or, uh, well, the derivative of f of x being tangent of x. Uh, so this, uh, this represents, I forgot where I was, f prime at pi over 3. Now, let's look at the specific example of finding the derivative using this definition for a function, the generic derivative function, not, a, not at a specific value. And let's suppose that my function is f of x is equal to x over x plus 2. So, again, f prime of x is the limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. By the way, this is one of the specific, the more, more um, limit application that you saw in one of the previous videos. All of those represented derivatives. In this particular case, this becomes limit h approaches 0. x over x plus f of x plus h would be x plus h over x plus h plus 2 minus x over x plus 2 all divided by h. Just replace all every x with x plus h. That's f of x plus h f of x, all divided by h, limit. And now we have to do a bunch of algebra. Again, I will multiply this by the common denominator. I'll multiply the main division. My common denominator is x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2. That's my common denominator. And so therefore, we end up with limit h approaches 0 of 
x plus h times x plus 2 minus x times x plus h plus 2, when I distribute this into my two parts, over h times x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2. And we have to do a bunch of algebra here. This limit, by the way, is was obviously indeterminate because if h is 0, then we get exactly the same thing subtracted. So the numerator is approaching 0, and obviously the denominator is approaching 0. It was indeterminate. So we had to do this. This then becomes foiling out x squared plus xh plus 2x plus 2h minus the first one multiplied out x squared plus xh plus 2x second one over h times x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2. Don't multiply that out. This becomes limit h approaches 0. x squared plus xh plus 2x plus 2h. Distributing minus x squared minus xh minus 2x. All divided by h times x plus h plus 2, times x plus 2. A bunch of stuff at this point cancels out. Anything that doesn't have an h should cancel out. x squareds and the 2x's will cancel out also. And in this case, the xh's will also cancel out. So all I am left with is, switch colors, 2h over h times x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2, which means now I can reduce and get rid of the problem child of h. And I'm left with 2 over x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2. At this point, it is no longer indeterminate. We can actually let h approach 0. And so in this case, I am left with 2 over x plus 2 quantity squared. This is the derivative function. f prime of x in this case is 2 over x plus 2 quantity squared.